Amp. Yes. Amp. I, was, I forgot about that one. I'm like, that's a really philosophical question. I'm a hoe. You're a hoe. She's a hoe. She's a hoe. We're some hoes. Would you like to be a hoe too? Well, it that's sounds funny. like a good time. Yeah, I'm like, is that the meaning of life? Like, I mean, <laughs> if you have, like we said before, if you haven't had a hoe stage, yes. have you really experienced life? So you can have a hoe stage at any age, y'all. At any point in your life, you can have a hoe stage. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know, and don't be ashamed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome back. Yeah, we ain't got no sense. <laughs> so, another week of a shenanigans. It's your girl Sam. And it's your girl Joy. And this is Let's Be Real. Boo. Okay. <laughs> you know how we do. And we are back to reality. Yes. I've been smiles all week. Chow. I've been in a good ass, ass fucking mood. I wish I could have been smiles all week because motherfuckers have been trying me oh you had a try me whole week i'm always having try me whole week it's like <laughs> give me a break universe i just won't just the universe just won't give me a break i'm always having a try me whole week you know but, but this one was worse than others it's because it's on the back end of a bomb ass vacation back That's end what of a bomb ass vacation and then i walk into work and they are training mm. so half of the team is not functional so you had to take all them calls girl so it was only <laughs> and when i say it was back to back and too mm -hmm. back one time i got on the phone and i didn't even normally you know i mute my microphone <laughs> so i'd be muting my microphone and then you know when someone hop, pops on my line i'll unmute it so this time it was just i just keep it unmuted because they coming in mm -hmm. and then when one call came in i said <sighs> <laughs> Thank you for calling. You know, <laughs> yeah. it wasn't even chipper no more. Like the code switch was <laughs> over. You know, it Your was code switch tapped out. I got it into had. I got into a meeting, mm -hmm. okay, and I was telling them how I feel, and I'm not even gonna lie. And she's like, "Oh no, I can't hear this. You guys are supposed to be doing that." I said, "I don't care who hear it. I'll tell you what I did because this is what I did. Mm -hmm. Y'all think I'm finna sit up here and be sweating and slaving over here? <laughs> Y'all stressing me the hell out." You, you can tell whoever you want to tell. I'll tell them I did it too, and I'll tell them why I did it. Shit, fuck out of here. Y'all stressing me out. You know, the 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 week, the work week after being on a bomb ass vacation already hit different because you already, like, back to reality, not want to deal with that shit. You weren't even there a full week. No. Because we was on out Monday. That's true. You're right. You're right. You weren't even there a full week. But then I'm just thinking about, like, today. This time I woke up, I said, this time last week I was in uh, my motherfucking patio. Yes. Sipping tequila. Eating breakfast. With the iguanas. <laughs> Sipping tequila. Okay. Take me the fuck back. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Because this shit is for the birds. You know, I've been in a good ass mood. You have. She, but you know what? I, 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 I you know, tap into joy and I get a little joy. You yeah. know? It's she been, been so happy. stressful. <laughs> it's been y'all know y'all been listening. Y'all know it's been stressful as fuck. But we hired somebody, so like work this week was surprisingly kind of slow to the point where I started getting anxiety. Like, am I forgetting to do shit? Like, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> where the emails at? You been like, like go go go. Yeah, I've been so go much. go go. So I feel like that nice change of pace off the back end of that vacation was like when I tell you I dead ass needed that break. I've been in smiles like fucking chipper all week like shit can't bring me down i left that trip just feeling like just an emotional high that shit was needed and then work was low-key it was low-key this week in comparison it was like, great and we gonna give we got some bonus footage for y'all oh yeah y'all yeah, make the, uh, sure y'all get to the youtube once we get some clips posted yeah for the uh the next episode of Shorty Shit because we cut the fuck we cut up it was fun it was you it was it was very it felt like a movie, a like a girl's trip movie. Like, child, I can't with y'all, but <laughs> <laughs> just to give y'all, I had got so drunk that I walked into the patio. I door. forgot about that. <laughs> Wait a minute. So that bitch looks so clean. I thought it was open. <laughs> and we watched you, and I, it was like, Dude, I said, damn. <laughs> no, but I 
did not spill my drink. She didn't spill a drink. <laughs> but she walked into that patio door. I said, wait a minute, you didn't even slide it. I was like, you better not put this on Snapchat, Sarah. I didn't put the walk-in on Snapchat, <laughs> but it was quite hilarious because yeah. I, did, I just did I said, well, did she know it was closed? <laughs> So every time I walked off the patio, I would stick my hand out first just to make sure that bitch was open. Because you know, when you a little fucked up, that bitch looked clear. I thought I, thought I was walking through an open, uh, open that door. Shit, the, that shit was funny as hell. The level of lit <laughs> that we had obtain, obtained every day from the time, shit, from the time we touched down. So in yeah. the airport, I had already started drinking. So in the airport, I was drinking because you know, I don't, I don't like to fly. So I have to prepare myself to fly every time I fly. So I'm drinking in the airport. We get uh, to Mexico, and I'm like overwhelmed with the, the hustlers. Yeah, and the way they, a lot. they 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 out here getting money. Okay, so I'm like, <laughs> we get to our destination, trying to check in. They had messed up our rooms, but and they shit. had drinks waiting for us. Drinks waiting, and but then I was like, is it alcohol in these? These were like refresher mm-hmm. drinks. I walked my ass over to the bar. I said, tequila and tonic, please. He said, oh, yes. Thank you. Because this is the kind of day it's going to be. I think one day I, ha- I had to at least have 15. You did. But that was the day we lost track. We did lose track. We were trying to do that little TikTok challenge where you'd be like, I'm Joy. And this is my first drink. And you track the drinks throughout the day. We didn't even get to the end because we also had an edible. So little baby came prepared. I brought the lit, the lit- lituation. She did bring the lituations, and it was tragic <laughs> every day because we did not make it to the shit that we was trying to do. The edibles hit our ass. I can't y'all. say it. I don't think this is a good idea. If we try to do this shit, I don't think it's a good. Well, let's get into our first yes. segment of the day. So we're gonna get into our first segment of the day, and we're talking about black girl luxury. Yes. Why it is deserved. Why, why it's necessary. Why it's necessary. And shit, don't feel bad. Do not feel bad because about Because you want the fancy things in life. Things. Yes. I mean, we know you got to budget and be economical and be responsible sometimes. But sometimes, bitch, you deserve. Yes, we deserve. And we stand at an all-inclusive motherfucking resort. Yes, people waiting on us. Man. When I tell you... you Especially yeah. when you constantly cleaning up after people or mm-hmm. children and you are constantly cooking and stuff. The fact that every time I put an empty cup down, it was picked up. I said, oh, bitch. <laughs> I can get used to this. Like, that shit made me feel like a princess. Like, that shit was sexy. Right. right. I said, oh, <laughs> you just going to come and pick it up? Oh, you bringing me a new one? Oh, shit. This is what? Yep. You still want gen- uh, tequila time? Yes. Yeah, mojito. And yes. then one time he brought me a tequila and tonic, and then brought an extra shot. I said, "Oh, y'all trying to have me fucked up, fucked up." How about when we went to breakfast? Motherfucker already had three shots waiting for us. We was like, "Who ordered these?" <laughs> tequila. I said, "Oh, oh it's what it is. <laughs> okay. This is one of those kind of resorts. I like that in you." Listen, man, we had a good damn time. A good time, and it was relaxing. Yes. Um, we weren't really in the party zone mm-hmm. area, so it was more so. But I needed that sand. Like, man. bitch, we rode boats to dinner. Man, like gondola rides. It was so fucking amazing. We, it was a boat stop outside yes. of our building where we could wait for a ride that would coast us up the river. And it was so beautiful. To dinner. So beautiful. And y'all know I'm a budget traveler like that ass. So usually me and babe, when we travel and we do Airbnb, we we always have a great time, but we try to go, you know, try to get the most bang for our buck. Now that I know this luxurious life, like for real, for real, I don't want to go back. And it was the same, it was the, the same, same price. price. It wasn't that. About the same price we would pay for Airbnb. Yeah, it was the same price. It wasn't nothing outrageously no. expensive and everything was all inclusive, but we scheduled dinners. Yes. Bitches had massages. Now let's get into this massage. Girl, the massage. Okay, now I don't like people touching me like that. I mean, I think we've already discussed. Yeah, you don't you don't like the touching like affection and <clears throat> touching. Not really my thing. So <laughs> our other homegirl was like, "Yeah, let's get massages." We were you and I was like, mm-hmm. "All right, I'll try it out." We walk to the motherfucking spa. Man. This spa was like, first of all, the whole back wall was just 
overlooking the resort and then the ocean. It was so beautiful, y'all. So beautiful. And it was open. Yes. It was open. open. So it was like in the whole the, it was like an the hydrotherapy yeah. was an infinity pool. And they had different stations. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they have this shit everywhere. This is my first time getting the flowers. Like, don't judge us. Yeah, like, don't judge us. It's like, y'all Y'all like, <laughs> said they're doing this shit. Like we said, it's luxury and, and you deserve. Some people, you know, late to the party, tardy to the party. We had to get exposed. And now we know. Was now we know. The fucking party. <laughs> so there was one station and, and the, the bubbles did something different at each fucking station. I know, the bubbles on your feet, then it switched to your back, then it's on your stomach. Then the and power back. stream to your back. Yeah, and that then, was too much. Yeah, that the was. The power stream was a little much. Yeah, because we hit the button and felt the tax. Um, we <laughs> weren't ready <laughs> for the power that that, that button was. It was, was bringing lots of power, okay? okay. I wasn't I, ready. I said, wait a minute now. That's salt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was some strong ass water. We, we saw another gay couple there? Yes. Look, the other gay couple was too cute too. So I was so we had to change into our robes. Baby, all and I know. They was looking real good. They stripped down. Do you remember? Yeah, and we was like, oh. I walked in and it was just like nipple rings. I said, I, oh. oh. <laughs> okay. And then I was like, I don't know if I should just be stripping down naked in front of her and her girlfriend like that. She, she <laughs> was walking around, ass out, nipples out, and she was like, what's up, y'all? See <laughs> And then oh. she was talking to us. It was a whole ass vibe. They were cool as fuck. It's something about someone naked talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Completely <laughs> seen it pitch perfect. Oh, when she made her scene. <laughs> the shower. Like, it was just something. I was just like, oh, okay. And I'm then, confident about all of it. Yeah, her and her girlfriend, they was, they was cool. Mm -hmm. But uh, that massage, now listen, I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I wasn't ready. So you got to pick your scent and all of that. I was like, mm, lavender. Girl, when I um, sniffed them oils, my ass knocked out. I was like, ooh. Did you open your eyes? Do you keep your eyes closed during the massage? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I didn't. No, you I'm got sorry. trust issues. That's I, why. <laughs> I, got, I got trust issues. So I got my eyes open. <laughs> Look, like I said, <laughs> I don't do people touching me and stuff. I have to be aware at all Girl, times. Girl, you got those? Okay, my boy. Fuck that. Bottom of the Not motherfucker. That hand, <laughs> <laughs> these little hands. I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, how the hell he finna give me a good massage with these little ass hands? Fuck my whole understanding up. Your ass was sore. I was sore. <laughs> I did get a little nervous when he pulled that sheet back. <laughs> to the crack of my ass. <laughs> Wait a minute. He didn't know what to do with all that. <laughs> oh, that motherfucker was having fell seemed like he was having the time. But he was like, I said, Wait a minute now. Girl, I, <laughs> I told my man my legs were sore. He gave me a whole stretch. Like, your good shit was moving my leg, twisting it to the side. I was like, this is amazing. It felt like physical therapy. Listen, and then, so you know, like I said, first massage. That motherfucker lifted the sheet up. And I was like, wait a minute. He's like, turn over. I said, oh, wait, turn over? <laughs> like, I don't have no fucking clothes on. So I'm nervous. <laughs> <Most time. laughs> It was a small ass table too. It was a small I thought table. I was gonna fall off mine. It was a, a little man. Okay, <laughs> so I was nervous the whole time. I'm like I should have picked the girl. Like <laughs> that's who I should have picked for my first one because she probably wouldn't have hurt me. Because like all around my neck, he was just so strong, and I was just like, okay. He probably had some knots, but you didn't ask for no deep tissue. We I didn't ask for relaxing. I said relaxing, no deep tissue, because you know I'm I'm tender. <laughs> so, tender skin, yeah. yeah, tender skin. So I didn't want no deep tissue, but uh, it was a head massage for me. When he started getting up in my scalp and massaging my temples and stuff, girl. Yeah, see that made me nervous too. I got trust issues. <laughs> I think that's why I've been, you know, I was always apprehensive about getting a massage because you know when people's hands start moving in different places, I'm like, what the fuck you finna do now? And I'm like, okay, mm, I don't like when people. I mean, how common are happy endings? I hear about these things all the time, but is like that like a thing thing? I don't know. I've only read about it in books. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen it with my real eyes. Or seen it in like you know <laughs> those low budget YouTube um, mm -hmm. movies, but I've never heard. I mean, it's a whole segment of porn. Really? Yeah. yeah. The masseuse. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. 
It's always somebody that is enjoying their massage with their eyes closed, and then the masseuse's hands get a little frisky. But I've never really seen this type in real life. Probably happens at certain places. Mm. People know where to go for that. You gotta know where to go. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> so, we had our massages. They were amazing, mm -hmm. needless to say. And the reason why we wanted to talk about Black Girl Luxury and just all of the things is because sometimes we feel like we don't deserve. Yep, yep. We're often taught that, you know, this scarcity mindset to always be in a state of like deprivation, poverty, um, like when you want things like that. I don't know, I feel like I was taught to be people like really wealthy, like they sell out and mm -hmm. stuff like that too. So I want these luxurious things now and time freedom is everything. I'm getting to the point too, I'm gonna pay for some, some freedom of my time. I don't wanna clean, I'm gonna hire a cleaning service. If I don't wanna cook, I'm hiring a chef. That's the lifestyle for me. <laughs> it sounds it sounds great, and you know mm -hmm. sometimes I'm like, yeah. See, I'm I'm like borderline bougie. Like, oh, sometimes I really do want those things, mm -hmm. and it's so cute how I can see myself, you know, having a chef. <laughs> I could come in and cook dinner. I think I, it was a story I had heard of. Like, I'm going off on a tangent. Mm -hmm. It was a chef who used to have keys, and she would come in and cook dinner for a couple. And so she came in, you know, she says hello, she didn't hear anything, she heard them having sex, and so she just started doing her job and started cooking, you know, and then she, <laughs> she cooked dinner and she was cleaning up the stove and then the wife was coming to the front door. So then she was confused. <laughs> and then that was the end of the story. I didn't get part two. But I know the rest, girl. <laughs> I can see. Yeah. But yeah, I can <laughs> back to, I can see myself, you know, maybe every now and then mm -hmm. having like just someone come cook for you. I'm getting the big boo. Dust your yeah, house. Dust your house because I hate dusting. I'm allergic to dust. That yeah, should be killing I, me every time I do it. I need someone else to do that shit. Um, <laughs> you know, dusting and like the cleaning of the walls and baseboards and stuff. Like, I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't. So, and little things. So, I will say this. Mm -hmm. Not even just like trips. There are little things that I started getting into that I realized, man. This is saving so much time mm -hmm. okay. just on my life. Like Instacart for oh, for, yeah. for a reason. Do you know how long it takes to fucking go grocery shopping? Yeah, it's a it's a very like tedious thing. And I hate it. Yeah, and I gotta look at all of the like nutrient nutritional facts. I hate it. Takes me a while. But I can go on Instacart while I'm watching Netflix, mm -hmm. order all my fucking groceries and have them delivered. Look, y'all thought I was antisocial before. The pandemic made it so the much more convenient for me my life. It's to just do everything on my phone. I had liquor delivered. <laughs> I had groceries delivered. Like, I didn't, the pandemic hit, I did not leave the fucking house. Everyone Girl. else, I didn't go anywhere. I left the house to walk downstairs and get my deliveries. <laughs> I, I used to say, to the second floor, leave outside door, please. <laughs> So all you, so once I open my door, there's my shit. Low key, I was developing agoraphobia. I'm like, I don't need to <laughs> going outside. Is this fresh air? Like the fuck? So you just realize how much time you yes. save, and then how much time you got back to do other things. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing about just treating yourself. Yeah, that that's it. Treating yourself. So it's a happy balance because like I could treat myself too much and then end up in debt. So I got to find a balance, but you know what? I'm dreaming big, I'm setting higher standards, and I'm realizing now like, the things that I want are attainable and I can have them. And I need to stop convincing myself that I don't deserve these things um, for whatever reason. Or that's, that's, that's for this cycle, because it's not. You know, every time I hear myself say something like that, it's now something I have to do. Yeah, that's for rich white people do, but you can do it too, bro. Yes. I wanna, y'all know. But I we heard that so much growing up. Like that's what rich white people do. But yeah. we could do it too. Mm -hmm. And then when I started getting around like my bougie rich ass family members, I'm like, oh, y'all got my shit laid up. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then you see how easily attainable it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just don't want any limitations on my life, especially things that are like self limiting beliefs. I'm not gonna keep telling myself that things are off limits to me. The moment I think that is now something I have to do. Me and Bay taking golf lessons, you know, like they are <laughs> golfing. taking golf lessons. <laughs> Look, I want to be dressed.
drunk on the golf cart with the white folks. Like, and now that I'm in these spaces, I'm also getting exposed to how many other black people do these things. Mm -hmm. So this really is just something I didn't have exposure to, you know. Because you think like mm -hmm. ain't nobody really, ain't, ain't no black folks out there. Until you take your ass out there, you be like, oh, hey, girl, how you doing? Exactly. Like, when y'all see me learn how to sail, just know that's on the bucket list. The bitch is going to learn how to sail a boat. And I'll be in that bitch <laughs> drunk, okay? And be like, there's Joy and there's the drunk. <laughs> <laughs> now here on my future yacht. I'm going to have a bottle in my hand. <laughs> With our matching captain's hats in this bitch. I'll be lit, okay? <laughs> like, what? But yeah. When I looked at the prices of them, I'm like, this is not unattainable. Right, you know, but we convince ourselves. Even, think about it, even in Chicago, it's neighborhoods that people think are off limits to them. No, ma'am. I'm going to go kick it in Chinatown. Have you ever, like, for real kicked it in Chinatown? Not kicked it, like, went to, like, clubs. That's what I'm saying, like, kick it, like, oh, go no. to this club. Like, Just yeah. restaurant. Mm. Just to a restaurant. Now, I'm going to walk around. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick it. <laughs> Y'all yes. wanna go kick it with us in Chinatown? <laughs> Let's go. Look, no limitations, no limitations. So to me, um, also I was talking about this. What what is luxurious to you and what's considered a luxury for you might be, you know, nothing to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So that's also what I'm trying to do now is figure out what does luxury look like, what are the things that I want, but I keep telling myself I can't have and really sitting with that. So that's kind of like the headspace that I'm in. Yeah, and I felt another thing like when we went on vacation, I felt mm -hmm. like it was because it wasn't it wasn't a lot of black people there. Mm -mm. We were fucking celebrities. Yes, the dude from Peru. <laughs> we, a whole nigga came and asked to take a selfie with us. He said selfie like couldn't speak a shit of English. <laughs> he said selfie, selfie, beautiful, beautiful. That's all he knew. Yeah. Beautiful. He said like Kalinda. He's beautiful. So he took his picture and he like, hey, throw the thumbs up. You know? <laughs> Did he like, show us the picture? See, beautiful. We like, thank you. He finna show everybody that picture. We finna be <laughs> all on his Instagram. Man, I had a fan. Well, I'm not gonna say fan, but the <laughs> a whole girl came up to me the day after we went to the uh, club. You forgot about that. <laughs> and she was like, hey, you remember me? And she like turned the like, fuck up. No, no I'm from that. Because she came up to her speaking, speaking full Spanish. <laughs> and Joy was like, No, no come here, day. I was drunk as hell. Too. Then she switches and she's like, No, you know me. I met you. I said, she, she said with an attitude, You know me. And I'm sitting here like, Wait a minute. Wait, the fact that your ass can speak English, <laughs> that's what it had to I'm on my I'm on my 12 tequila and tonic, y'all. And I'm sitting in this corner like, so you knew her. Why the fuck you walk up to her speaking <laughs> Spanish? And you know she don't know what the hell Wait, you're saying. So then my ass goes, you had on a striped dress, right? No, I didn't have on no striped dress. That was the other bitch. <laughs> Cause Joy had fans. Okay. She got so mad at me, so I was I turned to say it. I was like, so that's not the girl with the striped dress. I, I said, like, no. no. She's standing over there. That's the wrong one. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. I didn't remember who she was, and we was at the same place. I don't even remember talking to her at all. But she was in that conga line. <laughs> I know. I, was in the con I feel like she might have been next to me in the conga line, because I don't even remember seeing her. <laughs> We're gonna have to go back to the video footage, because apparently you made a friend, and she was upset that you did and not And I promise I won't wasn't on bullshit if you hear this. That's <laughs> no, definitely not. Joy was completely oblivious. We didn't even know what they were saying. No, I didn't even know. Yeah, that was wild. But anyway, because you know, <laughs> language barrier. But um, that was funny. But yeah, I, I but we were like superstars. Yeah, because we were definitely wasn't that many black people no. on this whole fucking resort. <laughs> I think we met the other black people that were on the resort. But that, that last day we were there, it was like black people everywhere. We like, where y'all been? Yeah, like where y'all come from? It was the Jamaican couple. They were like, Houston, y'all leaving? That other couple, no, they, uh, Houston. They were from Houston. That's mm -hmm. right, because they were from Houston. Yeah. And we was like, oh shit, we didn't see y'all the whole time we've been here. We see y'all last night type shit. Man. Man. We but did. we kicked it with them though. We kicked it. This the the Shot husband. Man. The Jamaican <laughs> husband started calling the bartender short man. <laughs> then he switched it to shocked man because of his accent. And he had him pouring shot after shot. After shot, bruh. Ladies, come on, come on. And I said, listen. I'm so I'm surprised I didn't wake up hungover. 
Yeah, I'm surprised too. I think I did. You did. A little bit, slightly. I tried to play the shot. Was that the day you had the 15 drinks? No, no, that was the day I fell asleep in my clothes. <laughs> you fell, not just in your clothes, but you fell asleep sitting up. Sitting pretty. I fell asleep sitting pretty in my clothes like this. <laughs> and I woke up like this, like, oh, okay, we go to breakfast. <laughs> but yeah. you know, I'm trying to know luxury, not just on vacation, in like all aspects of my life, because bitch, I deserve. I deserve Damn. nice things. I deserve abundance prosperity, you know, yeah. limitless options, okay, mm -hmm. bottomless options. Yeah, because that's where it was at for me. I was drink. I tried to drink all the tequila the damn Reaper had. That's true. I said, this is so hard. Yeah. And them lemon drop shots was getting us together. I was having lemon drop shots too. That's why, I, listen, I had to do a complete detox. Yeah, we detoxed and so we got back. <laughs> I said, I can't. Now, I know I was drinking water, but I wasn't drinking enough. Yeah, I had nothing to drink this whole week because I was like, you've had enough. <laughs> yeah, I started I started today because I needed to drink today. Because, you know, after this week, today yeah, really you tried me whole week. Ooh, and today really tried me. Like, today was the worst day out of the whole week. <laughs> so, I definitely um, needed to drink after that. Yeah, but it was a good time. And now, you know, I want better. I want more. And just the conversations we and, had on this trip, like yeah, we had a lot of like you know we girl bonding like, conversations. Yes. So here's what we are going to challenge our listeners to: mm -hmm. tag us in your black girl luxury trips. We want to see it. So I know you got some when mm -hmm. you went out with your girls and y'all just did some fancy shit. And it don't have to be a trip. It could be mm -hmm. you know we went to a nice restaurant and all got cute. Tag must be real boo. Yes. We want to see it. And, and you can use our hashtag. Use hashtag let's be real boo. Let us see these posts. Tag yeah, because I want to see it. And if, if you ain't did it, do it. And we'll tag. share y'all shit to our stories. You know we will. You know, we want to highlight y'all. All the things. Show us the luxury life, okay? Luxurious. So with that, let's go into our let's be bossy. bossy. <laughs> I'm bossy. I'm the first girl to sit on the track. I switched to the fifteen of the drum. That's right. Yeah. I'm bossy. Yeah, I don't know the rest of those words. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that this is what the thirty seventh episode is this is our thirty sixth episode. Thirty sixth episode, yes. And we still don't know the words to this song. You know, I feel like I know it. It's like when you hear it on the radio, magically, you know all the words. But when you try to just do it on your own, this is not the song I'm going to sing for my life. Yeah, all I know is the chorus. Burn. Burn. <laughs> Burn. Burn. So, <laughs> our bossy boo for the week is a amazing singer. Amazing singer. Yeah. So, I was scrolling the Tiki Talk mm -hmm. and found her. And I said, well, you better come through. Yes. So her name is Jasmine Ray. Yes, and she has music on the Apple Podcast. Mm -hmm. You can go find her IG. It's just Jasmine Ray. And that's R H A Y E. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's not spelled like it's me. not like Ray, Ray. or Sunshine. Yes, it's like <laughs> Ray. Yeah, so you can get the pronunciation with the spelling right. Yeah, y'all go follow her. Y'all listen to her music. I believe she got a YouTube link up there. She's dope, y'all. Like, her voice is so, it's like sultry to me. It has like a jazzy feel. Yeah, you know, I love motherfucking Nicki Sing. Yeah. So as soon as I heard her sing, I was like, oh, shit. It's something about when, when people, I wish I could sing. And I guess that's why when I can hear other people sing, I'd be like, sing that shit, bitch. And yeah. I don't know what I would do if my girlfriend sang to me on TikTok and could sing to me and shit. I know she sang to a girlfriend. Like that shit was, was like, you better, you better tell everybody in the whole you world. You better love me loud and proud. You know what I'm saying? I love me boldly like Make that. Make me a priority. Okay, sing some shit to me on the interwebs. You <laughs> mean? Okay. Come on, cooking and cleaning and everything. Should you get everything? Zaddy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sing to me, shit. That was, yes. But y'all... <laughs> We ain't got no damn sip. But y'all check her out, Paige. Yes, you are yes. a dope artist. And yes. we see you and we Amazing want you voice. keep doing your thing. You're going to blow the fuck up. And I can't wait. Work. I can't wait to be yes. at the events. We're going to be at the concert. Like, I remember when. Yeah. They were fans. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. Q, 
keep doing your thing, but we, we see, see you. you. All right. In our next segment, our boot up. Baby, da 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 boot up. Going ba da a boot up. you have all of these feelings for me mm. and then when I say that mm, I'm not feeling that mm-hmm. or you know I don't want to talk to you no more mm-hmm. it's all right fuck you bitch you that know <laughs> treat you any differently i'm not gonna be an asshole Mm -hmm. if if something is needed i'll be like hey you good you know what i'm saying but you know everyone don't know how to do that and some people's love come with conditions so if you ain't loving on me man fuck you i will tell you that i used to love very unconditionally until i kept getting taken advantage of and now my love comes with all the conditions (laughs) (laughs) you got to meet me at least halfway I cannot continue to do that. I saw this post that had said that um, adult relationships are not unconditional. But what they were trying to say is that, you know, you have to put in work. You have to put in effort in order to keep getting these perks or the benefits that come with this relationship. Like, you need to both be invested in it. That's something I didn't check for before. I used to just give so much of myself. And then when I realized, like, people weren't, you know, willing to give to me, I had to establish some boundaries. So I think it's a happy balance. Like, Mm -hmm. I feel like you and I, we equally give to each other. But I don't know, like in romantic relationships, I don't always see things like, she'd be hella one-sided. Sometimes it is one-sided. And the thing, one thing that I never understand is like sometimes you may be in a situation and one person sees things one way mm. and the other person sees things another just way. Just completely different perspectives. Right. It's just two different perspectives and they don't even see it how you see it. Even that if part. you are bringing it to them, yes. well, this is what was done like A, B, C, and D. So what did you, how did you expect me to react yes. to A, B, and C, and D? So then when I started reacting that way, yes. you started being like, oh, well, fuck you. But yes. I had already been... Mm-hmm. dealing with this shit for so long when I finally decided to say you know what fuck it I'm done dealing with it now you're mad mm-hmm. because what is it that what is the reason why I'm treating you like this yep listen but I've seen it I don't know I've seen it a lot where even people are like I'm gonna support you unconditionally Ooh. until you make them mad mm-hmm. it's all or you know not even romantically, we talk about y'all know this is our boot up section. <laughs> but you know, you may have friends mm-hmm. that want to got your back, hundred grand. But as it's soon as you, as soon as you do something that they don't like, now you all type of bitches and hoes behind your back, and the support is gone. And the support is gone. Was the support ever really, um, shall I say, authentic? 
Yeah, especially if that's all it took for you for me to lose the support. Right, like damn, that's how you feel. Mm -hmm. I've learned that most people support you as long as they get something in return. A lot mm -hmm. of people like what's in it for me. But people don't want to. People don't want to acknowledge that that is how they're they're behaving. Yeah. They don't want to acknowledge that it's one sided, or I I feel like I need to be getting something out of this in order to put something into it. So now, and, and like you said, I'm definitely a motherfucker where I may let shit go for a while, mm -hmm. but at some point I'm gonna have to re bring it back in and I still need to be a priority. Yeah. You know, my coworker said something that was so prolific to me. She was like, your, um, your worth is not dependent on how much you produce, how much you give to somebody. And I'm like, you right. So a lot of this, like, people are willing to give you things as long as you're producing, as long as you're providing them with something. Mm -hmm. But I'm starting to learn, like, now, nah, bitch, I just deserve. Like, to the black girl looking right. like, I, I deserve. I just deserve. I deserve to go out. Yeah. I deserve to be winding night mm -hmm. regularly. Mm -hmm. Not and y'all, some of y'all gotta stop. Not just on anniversaries. Yeah, and holidays birthdays. or birthdays, like regularly. When people say to continuously date, mm -hmm. there's a meaning behind that. Because once you stop doing all of that, then it's like, oh, you did that to get me? Yep. And then once you got me, it was like, oh, I got you now, bitch. Yep. <laughs> like, so. That's why date yourself, shit. If you take yourself out and treat yourself to a good time, this little simple shit that motherfuckers be doing to please you, it's, it doesn't faze you. Like, I took myself to a five-star restaurant. What you doing? Facts. <laughs> Take yourself to a concert. I mm -hmm. it. Yeah, your ass went to a whole music festival <laughs> by yourself. Sure the fuck did. I went to a whole motherfucking concert by myself. And wait, got to the bar and it was buy one, get one free. <laughs> I said, oh shit, it's a good day. <laughs> It's buy one, get one free. But she give it to. You know, mm -hmm. take yourself out in yes. and have a good time. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, I was saying at the top of my lungs, I didn't know nobody fucking around. I made friends. Well, I made friends with people I was standing by. I was like, talk about other people's shit. <laughs> Sang my little songs and, you know, went on home. Girl, but once I start to see that uh, somebody's, like, their support and things are conditional, now I gotta change the terms and conditions on my end. Facts. Okay. We ain't in the same agreement. I'm straight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a complete turn off. Complete turn off. When you see, oh, okay. So because I was giving you this, that's why you were giving me that in return. Yes. But as soon as I'm no longer giving it to you, you're like, oh, well, I'm over here with it. So don't sit up here and fake the funk. Like, yo, I'm just sorry. I feel like people get. Um, and then I feel you. The definition of love confused yes. and they don't know what that means and yeah that's a whole metaphor people topic. love what you do for them they love what you can give or them. love your company love your company or love your, your therapy your energy your vibe. Or you listen to them you understand them you know you advocate for them you try to push them to be better some people just you know a lot of relationships i've seen like especially i've seen this trend is like i'm tired of making this motherfucker better for the next person yes and I will say, shit, I have definitely been in a few of those situations where I have built that person up for the mm -hmm. next one. And some of them, they still trash. But, <laughs> you know, I built that person up for the next one because, you know, you pour, I pour in a lot. Listen. You know, I will say that I feel like I'm finally dating somebody that, like, truly sees me. Mm -hmm. And, oh, like, y'all are definitely equally yoked. Yes, you know, and, like, sometimes, you know, I'm human. I'll fall into, like, my old, you know, bad habits, like, negative self-talk and stuff like that. And they straight up will stop me and be like, I don't want to hear you talk about yourself like that. Like, oh. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Put me in my place. Let me but, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, but something I've learned is, like, there's a difference between somebody loving you for just being you and loving you for what you do for them. And I'm in this space now where I'm finally attracting people who see me clearly and they fuck with me. And I don't have to give them nothing in return. Like, it's just a mutual, I fuck with you and I love you because you're you, not because I'm getting anything from you. And that that was a shift in my life. And I feel like I've been 
um, in such a better place because I've acknowledged that and recognized that shift, and I'm starting to attract the people that I need. You know, but That's it's good. a new wave. A new wave. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we are entering a new wave. We are. Boo. It's only up from here. It's only up from here. Okay. You think that this is this <laughs> is just the beginning. That's why I want you to dream big, Sam, because boo, I know. Luxurious things are in my future, boo. I promise. As long as I'm not driving the boat. <laughs> I'm going to drive the boat. I get excited. And I'm bringing Tequila Joyce to party, okay? Tequila Joyce. Tequila is Joyce is a good time. Yes. Okay. <laughs> She's a good fucking time. I had so much fun with y'all. <laughs> oh, and y'all know this is my first, like, like real girls trip. Oh, it was. I forget. It was yeah. your first girls trip. So y'all, people, our longtime listeners... Um, I always talk about how I'm a vacationer. So, Bay did not go on this trip with me. It was me and just my girls. And this was my first time doing that. And, and you had a good time. I did. That's why I kept saying, I was like, we have a good time when we take trips together. Oh, I see now. I said, it was really get, nice. We get fucked up. We talk shit. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like, you know, we may cry. We may have we, a little We did cry a little bit. You know, we had it's a emotional. And they always try to get me, you know. <laughs> Hide your emotions from us. No, I don't like being emotional. <laughs> shit, they be trying to like pull that shit up out of me. I'm like I'm a thug, but anyway, <laughs> got me crying in Mexico. But uh, <laughs> I feel like I need to be on the show. You got me crying in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do this shit. But uh, yes, so back to <laughs> back to the segment. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I just want all of us to have good things in life. And to get those things, you got to believe you deserve them. And, not, and exactly. worthy of them. Know your worth. No, and don't feel be like in a, feel like you're in a position to, well, at least they're trying. Yeah. Some people will always be trying. And may, their trying might not be enough to keep you. You know, like I said, I forgot what episode I said. Sometimes people may not love you the way you want them to. Yep. And that's okay. And that is okay. Yeah. It is okay for you to love them from a distance. Yep. And you deserve to be loved unconditionally. Unconditionally. Okay. So your worth is not contingent upon what you can do for people. And that's period. Period. Poo. Poo. So, <laughs> like table. Poo. You know, we, we was a little prolific. Was it prolific? I don't I know. I feel like we was slight. Like, yeah, yeah, we was prolific. I'm claiming it. We was prolific. The cognac is kicking in. Yeah. I'm drinking water now to pace myself. I'm over here being hot. So, uh. <laughs> That's stage one. Y'all not hot? We were talking about stage one of the. We're gonna come up with a lit scale. The lit scale. Stage one of the lit scale. It go from stage one to stage four real quick. I just don't understand. I need I need a better grasp. But that's how you know you on the way. Is y'all not hot? Of the lit scale. But. <laughs> we gonna let y'all go. And once again, thanks for listening to us and yes, supporting us. And it's your girl Joy. And we out of here. Peace.